What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julia and today's video is going to be all about my experience with 75 hard. So I'll be explaining the program in detail in case anyone is completely unfamiliar with it. I'll be talking about my personal experience with it as well as answering some frequently asked questions that you all sent in. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, I wanted to quickly recap what 75 Hard actually is. So it is a mental toughness program that was created by the First Form CEO, Andy Frisella, and it is completely free. It is not some crazy weight loss challenge, fitness challenge, some crazy workout plan or fad diet. It's not like that at all. It is simply a 75 day program that is designed to build your mental toughness, discipline, confidence, self-esteem, self-worth, fortitude, grit, and you achieve and obtain all of those things by doing the six daily tasks that are involved in this program. And those would be to drink a gallon of water every single day, stick to a diet of choice every single day, no alcohol or cheat meals the entire 75 days. You have to do two workouts a day. Both have to be at least 45 minutes long. One has to be outdoors and they have to be at least three hours apart. You have to read 10 pages of a self-help, personal development, informational business book every single day. And then you have to take a progress photo every single day. Now, I'm sure some of you watching this probably think that those six tasks every single day for 75 days in a row is insane. And yes, it has to be 75 days in a row because if you mess up any of those, you actually have to start back over from day one which I did have to do and we will talk about that later. When it comes to my own personal journey with 75 hard, I went from this to this. On that first day of 75 hard, I weighed in at 143.6 pounds and then on that final day, 75, I weighed in at 140 pounds. So in total, I only lost 3.6 pounds, but the program is not about the physical change or physique changes at all. It is purely about that mental component and that mental shift that happens throughout those 75 days. And I've truly never felt more mentally tough or disciplined or confident or even in control of my life than I do right now. And I'm someone who's kind of always considered themselves to be mentally tough, disciplined, and confident, especially in terms of my fitness. But by doing 75 hard, it kind of taught me that discipline that I have within fitness in all aspects of my life. So the fitness discipline kind of came naturally. Since I grew up in gymnastics, I was always working out. I always enjoyed working out. I had that innate discipline. It just kind of formed over the years. But now that I have done 75 hard, I feel that I have that discipline within every aspect of my life. And I truly think the reason why this program is so incredibly successful at getting people these amazing results and attributes within their life is because it is a competition between you and yourself. You have to show up every single day for yourself and you have to execute on all six of those daily tasks every single day. There's no excuses, there's no days off, there's no ways around it. I mean, I'm sure there are, but then you're just half-assing the entire program and you should probably start over. But if you are truly giving 110% every single day and showing up for yourself every single day, you will feel incredible and you will feel so freaking accomplished once these 75 days are done. But the first thing I kind of wanted to talk about was if you are thinking about doing 75 hard, but maybe you're afraid what others might think, you're afraid of judgment from others, just know you will receive that judgment no matter what. And through my own journey with 75 hard, I noticed that people will either criticize and judge you for doing it and kind of talk bad about the program or completely respect you for it, think that you are the coolest person and strongest person in the world. So just know there's always gonna be those supporters and there's always gonna be those haters. It's like that with everything in life. So don't let the fear of other people's judgment hold you back from doing 75 hard because at the end of 75 hard, you will come out a gazillion times stronger than you were and especially stronger than that person who is maybe judging you or putting you down for even thinking about trying something like 75 hard. So that's just my little two cents. So I highly recommend if you are someone who is on the fence but afraid of others' judgment, just go for it. F the haters, go for it, and you do you. I don't know if you're familiar with Andy Frisella or his podcast, but he talks a lot about listening to your bitch voice or your boss voice. I'm sorry for my profanity, I really never cuss, but I kind of have to in this case. So your bitch voice would kind of be that hater voice. Quit, just take the day off. That kind of voice, your boss voice, is that encouraging, motivated, like let's do this, heck yeah, let's go. That's your boss voice. That is the voice you wanna listen to the entire time you are doing 75 hard. 
and you will get through it, I promise. And once you do get through it, you will realize that control that you have in life and that control to listen to your boss voice and solely your boss voice. All right, clearly I am very passionate about 75 Hard. I have absolutely loved my experience from it. I love the way it makes me feel. I love everything I have learned and I highly recommend it to anyone who is thinking about doing it because it is incredible and it will seriously change your life. But I don't want this to be too long or boring so we are gonna quickly get into this Q&A. All right, the first question that I got and probably my favorite question that I got says, I wanna try 75 Hard but should I with the holidays so close? I know that sounds like an excuse. I think it is absolutely incredible that someone would think or even try to do 75 hard over the holidays because there are so many added temptations for those cheat meals and alcoholic beverages because there are so many extra celebrations and festivities during the holidays. But I also think that over the holidays is probably the most optimal and perfect time to do 75 hard if you are someone who is trying to reap those benefits to the fullest. Because if you can say no during the holiday season and say no to those cheat meals, say no to those alcoholic beverages in times of celebration, like you can still go to those things and have tons of fun, but you also have to do your outdoor workout outside in the freezing cold, which honestly, the days where I was outside running in the rain or doing my interval runs in the rain, I felt like a complete badass. I was like, I am the only person out here. There is no one else working this hard right now. Everyone else is inside on their couch because it's raining, but I'm out here putting in the work and that made me feel incredible. So if you do this over the holidays and you have that control, I think you will come out even mentally stronger, tougher, more confident, and more disciplined than someone who completes 75 hard some random 75 days in the summertime. So I think it's the perfect and kind of optimal time if you wanna reap those benefits to the fullest. The next question says, how was having no rest days? I feel like my body would break down without one. And honestly, I kind of felt the same way going into this. I did gymnastics my entire life, so I was used to a lot of stress on my body and muscles, but I also had always had at least one rest day a week, like throughout my entire life, if not two. So I was a little scared. And for the first 20 to 30 days, my body didn't feel the best. Like it was sore. It was kind of achy. I felt weak during a lot of my workouts. And I was like, man, why am I doing this to myself? I felt like I needed that rest day. But after like 20, 30 so days, my body got used to it. And then I started feeling really strong again. And it just kind of became a routine doing two a days every single day. And you kind of can gauge and listen to your body about what those workouts will be each day. I was actually in the middle of writing a future ebook that will hopefully come out sometime next year. Um, so I was testing and writing those workouts. So I would do one of those workouts every single day. And then when it came to my outdoor workout, I would typically do a steady state run or an interval run. So I would walk and run. But if there were certain days where my body was just done for, I would maybe make that a long walk and not run at all. There was a day where I actually ran a 10 mile race in Pittsburgh. I did the Pittsburgh 10 miler and I was not feeling a second workout, like a strength based workout or anything like that indoors that day. So I ended up doing a 45 minute like yoga class on YouTube. So you kind of have to listen to your body and learn what works best for you. And you also have to make sure that you are prioritizing recovery. Since you are doing those two workouts a day, make sure that you are eating enough, fueling your body properly, getting that post-workout recovery shaken, and making sure you're getting plenty of sleep and also rolling out those muscles, stretching, warming up, and cooling down properly because it definitely helps your body recover and prepare for that next day, but I promise your body will get used to it after a few days. Next question says, what things from 75 hard are you going to continue to do? So 75 hard is actually a lot like my normal life. So I'm going to continue drinking my gallon of water. That's something I've done for probably four plus years now. I'm going to continue reading. That's something I thought would be kind of boring and like time consuming, but I actually looked forward to it a lot and I really enjoyed the books I was reading. So continuing drinking water, continuing reading my books. I'm going to go back to my normal five day split with my sixth day being a full body day and I typically take a walk outside every single day. I am gonna reincorporate that rest day every single Sunday, but I do walk on my rest days, so it's an active rest day. You guys know this if you've been watching my YouTube channel. But kind of just go back to my normal life, which isn't all that different from 75 hard. I really never drank alcohol beforehand. If I do, it's like 
one cocktail a month at like dinner and I did have a lot of cheat meals I have more cheat meals in the summer I guess because I have a lot of like ice cream and milkshakes in the summer but I haven't had a single cheat meal since finishing 75 hard I mean I probably will tomorrow since tomorrow is Thanksgiving but honestly it's a lot like my normal life and I'm probably gonna keep a lot of the aspects in it because I just love the way I feel like mentally and physically from doing those things. Next question says, how many times did you start over? I did touch on this earlier and yes, I did start over and luckily I only had to start over once and it was exactly one week in because I had no idea that the two workouts had to be at least three hours apart. I was kind of doing them like almost back to back or with like an hour or two in between and then I was listening to one of Andy's podcasts a week in and he was talking about how they have to be at least three hours apart. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. So I started back over. That was my new day one and we went from there. So technically I would have finished two Fridays before Thanksgiving, but I instead I finished the Friday before Thanksgiving. But I only had to start over once and the rule is if you mess up or forget any of those tasks, if you read nine pages instead of 10, you start back over from day one. That's just the way it works. And I actually really love and appreciate that about the program because it makes you even more mentally tough. Next question says, what were some of the books that you read? So I actually started with Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. It was on our bookshelf. I like Matthew McConaughey. I thought it would be better than it was, but his life is actually very interesting. And it did teach some like valuable life lessons. After that, I read 25 Hours a Day by Nick Bear, and then after that, I started the four-hour work week. I ended up ditching it and not even finishing it because I just wasn't a fan of it. I didn't like it at all, and if you watched my last 75 Heart Update, then you know exactly why I stopped reading that book. But after that, I read Unbeatable Mind, and then I finished with Extreme Ownership. All right, last question. It says, what was the hardest part about 75 Hard for you? I've given this a lot of thought and my honest answer is just starting in general. I thought about doing 75 hard over a year ago, but I was kind of scared. I was like, no, I'm not really a fan of the whole no rest day thing, no days off, no messing up. I'm not going to do it. I guess I was just scared. I guess I had tons of excuses, but this time around, I literally made the decision in a split second. I committed to it and I was like, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to get it done and we're going to accomplish these 75 days. But convincing myself to start this time around, I knew that since I had failed at convincing myself to start over a year ago, I knew that convincing myself to start had to be that quick decision and quick commitment this time around. So if you're contemplating it, do it. Don't wait any longer, start right now. That is the best advice I can give you and that's true for literally anything. Like if you wanna start a YouTube channel, start right now. Everyone's always like, when's the perfect time to start? No, just start right now. That is the best advice for absolutely everything and I promise you'll feel a whole lot better once you're started. It'll be smooth sailing from there and the motivation and dedication will just be at like an all time high once you get going and once that momentum kind of builds throughout. So that was the hardest part, definitely starting for me. But I am gonna actually wrap these questions up here. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this little recap. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all next time, bye.